It's Beijing Olympic gold medal winner James De Gaulle now to talk about his fight against Liverpool's Paul Smith for the British Super Middleweight title in Liverpool on December 11th. It's a great fight. I'm delighted that it is happening. I tracked James down earlier. He was between the gyms and mills, and I got him in a car on his way home after sparring, and he was in a rush, and I asked him if he was suddenly aware of just how big a fight and night next Saturday will be. Yeah, um, listen, I knew from when I announced it that it was, that it was a big uh, step up, Buncey, but... I'm ready for it. Jim, Jim, Jim thinks I'm ready for it. Frank, Frank thinks I'm ready for it. I've been calling it. Now it's my time to put up or shut up. But I'm raring to go. I've had my last hard 15-round spar today, and uh, now it's tapering down time. Where, where was that? Where, where was that spar? I was down the Hooks Gym in Park Raw. Oh yeah, yeah, I know it. One, yeah. But I've had some great sparring for this fight. Uh, as well, I've been spying at Patrick Mendy, Krishnik Kato, that's beating him in my 14 fights. He's tough. I've some, he's tough, he's tough. Uh, so I've had some great sparring again. Now, I had Paul on the show last week, Smigo, and he was perfectly okay, and then just at the end, he just he just said, basically, I'm sick or tired of hearing James DeGale talking about being the best. So it's, it's just turning, it's just yeah. getting a bit of edge, and that, that suits you, well, doesn't I'm it? I'm getting tired of hearing him, to be honest. I'm not going to lie. Uh, <laughs> I'm saying, so... Uh, I'm fighting, I ain't fine now, it's only a week to go, and uh, we, we can get in there and solve it in the ring. Yeah. Well, in all fairness, that's the way it should be. Um, James, now, I, I know that, you, that Paul said he didn't hesitate when this was offered to him. Did you maybe think, you know, I know I know what you're saying, I know you feel you're ready for it. Well, but... he says that, he says that. Well, this was originally meant to be in London. Ah. I got the call, and uh, I thought Frank's 30th anniversary was meant to be at the XL in London. Sure. Then I got the call back, and all, and all of a sudden, do you want the fight? But it's in Liverpool. Okay. And I'm the one that jumped to it. I said, yeah, of course, I'm going to go into the lines, and I want it that much. Listen, this is showing some of my character now, mm. yeah, how much I want it. I want the British title that much. I'm going into the lines then, and I'm going to take the belt from in the lines then. So that was I think it shows a bit of my character. No, so, so there was no hesitation on your part whatsoever. Doesn't matter no. where it was, this is the fight you want, and I'm going to take this is it. The fight I want. I've been calling it, I've been calling it for the big fights. I want to be fast track, so that's my time to put up or shut up. And it is a fast track. Uh, uh, let me ask you this, James, just to let you go before next week. Uh, did you watch uh, Carl Froch last week against I Abraham? Did. I did. He was great. He was beautiful. Quality to watch, wasn't it? Quality, mate. Quality. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's it's good, you know, for someone like you, you watch someone like Carl Froch, because that's where you want to get. You want to get to WBC super middleweight titles oh. and put in performances like that. Of course, of course. I look at, like, I sit there and watch him and I think, yeah, hopefully in the next 18 months or two years, I'll be boxing the WBC world title. Mm. So, uh, it was great, man, but he put in a great, great performance. And, uh, yeah, hopefully he can go on and win the Super 6 now. Mm. Yeah, brilliant. Well, listen, James, uh, thanks, for get, thanks for joining us t tonight, and we'll speak to you and see you uh, next weekend up in Liverpool. No problem, Steve. And the new, yeah? Yeah, and, and, and the, the well, listen, that's what we want, you know, if we want to bring that title back to Harleston, let's keep it in the <laughs> south. And the new. All right, it's Monday. James DeGale talking to me earlier on.